you guys are in here. Time to talk about some more classic zombies news. Now we do know classic zombies is coming back to COD Mobile in season nine, which is great news, of course. Everyone's waiting for the mode to come back, and now we have an actual date, which I believe season nine is supposed to start like either October 12th, 13th, or maybe June 14th, around that time. So the mode is coming back pretty soon, less than two weeks now. And there's been a lot of good news about the mode over the past few weeks. You know, we had teasers, finally a date announced. But sadly, now we have some bad news. Now, shout out to Leakers on Duty for this information, but some early patch notes came out for Season 9, and sadly, there's some bad news regarding the Zombies mode in it. Now, these are early patch notes, so things are subject to change, of course, until a COD Mobile officially puts out their own patch notes, which I'm not exactly sure where they get these patch notes from, but like every season, they leak early for whatever reason, and they're always pretty accurate, I would say, so this does seem like it's pretty much confirmed to be like basically the patch notes for Season 9. Now, it is translated also, by the way. I'm not sure which language it was originally in, but Leakers on Duty here translated it to English. So I'm going to read it off here, and then we'll talk about what exactly the bad news is. So it says, updated zombies mode. Classic zombies is back in a limited time event. So it says they've optimized the in-game combat experience and map guidance, added a new feature where you can use operator skills, adding a new vending machine feature where players can use the points they gain to increase survival capabilities and buy loadouts loadout guns in-game. Added random missions and Rick Toppin's voice will explain the history of Shinonuma to help players understand its past. Optimization for map guidance and artwork in-game. And then they say there's an exclusive mystery boxes that will give you unique rewards such as the lava axe after every match. So the mystery box thing, they're not, I don't think they're talking literally about the mystery boxes in the game, but they're talking about like crates and stuff you can get afterwards where the Lava Axe is one of the rewards you could get in Classic Zombies back in the day, and now I think they're bringing it back. So, what is the bad news exactly here? Is that they say that the Classic Zombies is back in a limited time event. Meaning the mode is not permanent. So again, I'm going to say that this is early patch notes, and it's translated, so there could be some errors in the patch notes, but... It's looking like the Classic Zombies mode will not be a permanent mode, which sucks, of course. I think we all want it to be a permanent mode, to where we can just play it whenever we feel like it. Instead of having a big limited time, like maybe it's available for one season, then it's gone the next season or whatever, which it might not be entirely bad news. Now, when they say it's a limited time event, they could just be referring to the Shino Numa map, and maybe they actually do plan to bring more maps to the game. So maybe like maps will be limited time to where if you want like a certain set of rewards that are only available for the Shino Numa map, play during this season and the next season is a different map like Nocturne Totem or Transit or whatever. That's a possibility, which I think that would actually be pretty cool, I think. I mean, I don't know if they're actually going to do that, but that would be pretty sweet if they meant limited time in that capacity. Could also be limited time in the fact that maybe one season is Classic Zombies, the next season Undead Siege, because Undead Siege is still in the game. Like, it's still in the game files. They could bring it back whenever they feel like it. People still want to grind for the Ether Camo, which I'm not... There's no mention of the Ether Camo in these patch notes, by the way. So don't know, don't know if those are going to be available during the Classic Zombies mode, or if they're saving it for when the Undead Siege mode comes back. I don't know, but... Could be one season is Classic Zombies, or maybe two seasons are Classic Zombies. Next two seasons are Undead Siege or something, I don't know. Which, I think people would rather play Classic Zombies than the Undead Siege mode, to be honest. But I mean, it'd still be cool to have Undead Siege back in the game as well, too. And also, it could just mean that Class Classic Zombies is going to be limited time. It's going to be here for Season 9, then maybe like Season 10 or Season 11, and it's gone from the game. And there's no Zombies playable at all. Which would suck, I think that's like the worst possibility, but... Again, we'll wait for more official information from Card Mobile themselves. I think probably early next week, or maybe the end of this week, we'll get proper information. Because they usually put a blog post before the season actually starts, so we'll get more inf information in that. The rest of the patch notes are encouraging, though. It sounds like they're actually updating the mode, adding new stuff to it. So I imagine that the, the mode will actually be in the game for Season 9 and Season 10, at the minimum. Like I don't think it's going to be a one-season thing and then they remove it. I highly doubt they would do that. So I think at least two seasons for sure, maybe season 11 as well, and then, and then the next major update after that would be season 12, and maybe that's when they remove it from the game or whatever they decide to do with it. We'll see what happens though, but they are updating the mode, which is nice, adding the vending machine. The operator skills are usable in the mode as well too, which I'm not sure if I'm really excited for that, but we'll see. One other thing that they're adding to the mode that wasn't in the original Classic Zombies mode is the Pack-A-Punch machine. I know it's going to be in the mode because it was in the test server. I'm not sure why it's not mentioned in the patch notes, but Pack-A-Punch will also be in the Classic Zombies mode as well. Along with like, the random missions that they say will pop up, and then they also talk about how Rick Toffin will 
actually explain the history of Shinonuma, so some cool story stuff there as well too, which hopefully kind of like continues or ties into what was going on with the Undead Siege mode story and the comic that they were doing, that'd be kind of cool. But that's all the information I want to talk about. Let me know what you in the comments below. Classic Zombies. Looks like a limited time mode. I don't know how exactly it's going to work if it's limited time maps. The actual mode itself was limited time. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace.